You know the saying, dogs are man's best friend. The main reason why is the loyalty. But some dogs are even more loyal than average. You'll wish the dogs in this video were your friend. These are the most loyal dogs in the world. Number 20. German Shepherd The intensely loyal and highly trainable German Shepherd is one of the most enduringly popular breeds of dog for more than 100 years. These brave and clever animals have served in the police, the armed forces, and as faithful family pets. German Shepherds are agile, and as long as they're well cared for, very fit and powerful dogs. That's one reason why these good-looking creatures make such effective working dogs, but just make sure that you aren't on the wrong side of a situation involving a police dog. Because the police dogs are trained to grab on with their teeth and not let go. Ouch! The use of highly trained dogs by police is an ethically murky area. Although the dog's extraordinary sense of smell is a great benefit in search and rescue operations, that's a very different thing when training a dog to attack people and possibly cause serious bodily harm. A dog's going to follow the instructions of its handler and do whatever they've been trained to do in order to collar that criminal. So what you gonna do when they come for you? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Rottweiler these strong, powerful dogs are descended from the Mastiffs of Roman legions, so these pooches certainly have some pedigree. And you should see these guys when they're puppies. For Pete's sake, they're just so adorable with their fluffy coat and outsized puppy paws. These lovely dogs will be gentle family members and loyal protectors, and are some handsome hounds with their short, shiny black coat and rust-colored markings, thick and muscular hindquarters, and powerful frames. They really do look the mutts nuts. The proper training and good socialization that these beautiful dogs have will make them confident, calm, and brave. They'll only be aggressive towards a perceived threat. But the sight of a solid Rottweiler is generally enough to put off all but the most determined of intruders. As companions and pets, Rottweilers are playful and energetic, and they need a lot of exercise and love as well. These guys just love to clamber up onto your lap for a good cuddle, the whole 130 pounds or more of them. They're also employed with some regularity as police dogs, and their temperament seemingly is suitable for the intimidating presence that police exploit with the use of these animals. Number 18. The Collie Intelligent and capable, there's a reason that Lassie was a collie. These dogs are loyal companions and are popular with families because of their protective natures. The collie is always ready to stand by you whatever life throws. A native of Scotland, the collie is a fairly hardy and energetic breed of dog, a great companion, and still a fabulous working dog. These beauties are the whole package. <laughs> With a history that stretches back nearly 2,000 years, the Collie's ancestors can be traced to Scotland during Roman times when the invaders' herding stock bred with the local dogs. They became an official breed in the history books in Scotland during the 1800s and counted Queen Victoria amongst their biggest devotees. In more recent times, Collies do continue to be renowned for their empathetic characteristics and their livestock herding abilities alike. They're also loyal pets and faithful working dogs. And, as the TV legend of Lassie, these dogs have had an enduring appeal through the 20th and into the 21st century. The original screen Lassie was played by a collie named Pal, which is just about the most apt name that you could give one of these most loyal of companions, don't you think? Number 17. Labrador Retriever the Labrador Retriever is the number one breed in the whole of the United States of America and is considered such a great companion that these dogs are owned by more people than any other in the country. That's some high praise indeed. 
The breed originated in Newfoundland, where it was originally known as St. John's Dog. These Labradors were bred to help fishermen with hauling in nets, retrieving fish, and pulling ropes, you know, all those fishy things. But as time has gone on, these lovable pooches have become firm favorites amongst families, and nowadays you're much more likely to find a Labrador retriever as a pampered family pet lounging around on the couch rather than hauling in a net. Part of the appeal of these pups is their sensitive nature. They're often chosen to be therapy dogs or assistance dogs for the blind or disabled, all on the account of their trainable and amiable characteristics. So it's no wonder that the beautiful, gentle Labrador is America's number one pet. The only thing these guys do suck at is being a guard dog, because they're so flipping affable that they're more likely to offer a burglar a friendly welcome and a lick than to be a menacing deterrent. Number 16. Chihuahua Often seen peeping out of the purses of the most rich and famous, the Chihuahua is a teeny tiny breed of dog with a plus-sized personality. These little dogs hail from Mexico, where the tenacious, scrappy animal is a beloved national symbol. These are some spunky little mutts. The dinky little Chihuahua is a terrier kind of dog, so diminutive that it won't weigh more than six pounds, even though they're often insanely pampered and spend a good deal of their lives being toted around in a designer handbag rather than running. With big, expressive, bulgy eyes, these feisty dogs can express themselves rather easily, often wrapping their owners around their teeny little paws. They're loyal and characterful, but they do need some training. How else are you going to get them to sit so nicely in your purse without making a shocking mess of your Prada, darling? If you don't show this little scrappy dog who's boss, then they'll simply assume that they are. Then watch out! because you'll soon find out just how big that personality can be when they're running your household on their own schedule and demanding whatever they please at all hours of the night or day. The Chihuahua is a diva, but they're also super loyal and will stand by you till the end of time, although they may prove ineffective in an encounter with an intruder. So after all, they're a lot like my pet guinea pig Twinkle. Hmm, imagine that. Number 15. Newfoundland the massive Newfoundland is known as a new for a newfie amongst its fans, and these huge bear-like dogs were originally kept as working animals as their immense strength and colossal size made them really good at jobs like hauling wood and pulling in fishing nets. These were super helpful skills to have in the wilds of Newfoundland, which is obviously where the big fellas hail from. Newfoundlands, when they're fully grown, weigh anywhere between 130 to 150 pounds, and they use their great strength and size in the service of humans. These pups are amazing swimmers, and Newfies are actually known for their incredible rescue abilities, having saved many lives in the freezing Atlantic and often sent to save people following a shipwreck. In fact, they've been rescuing stricken sailors since time immemorial. Newfoundlands are loyal and gentle when well-trained and are known to be extraordinary guardian dogs. Remember Nana and Peter Pan? The Darling family's big nanny dog was none other than a Newfoundland. And these sweet-tempered animals do seem to be very well-suited as family pets. Their biggest fans reckon that they actually make awesome babysitters, but that might be pushing the limits of this dog's abilities a bit too far. Number 14. Great Pyrenees such patient and noble dogs, the Great Pyrenees, have been around for centuries, guarding flocks and families alike. Known as the Big Dog of the Mountains, these magnificent pooches certainly live up to their name, because they're one big breed. If you need a loyal canine to chase off wolves or bears or even the odd cattle rustler, then this could be the choice for you. Protection is in their blood, and their ancestors were legendary guardians, sitting around in the freezing weather on mountains just looking out for their sheep. Not only are they super patient and unquestioningly loyal, they're also really brave. Although big, it still takes a lot of guts to stand up to a big old bear and chase it back down the mountain, that's for sure. These hard-working, loving animals will definitely stand by your side, no matter what crazy stuff is going down. Number 13. Staffordshire Bull Terrier 
Known amongst their legions of fans as Amstaffs, they're sassy, smart, and good-natured. These courageous little canines are all about companionship, so if you train them well, take good care of them, then these special dogs will stand by your side through hell and high water. The trustworthy American Staffordshire Terrier is a stocky breed with powerful and defined muscles and cheekbones that would rival a Hollywood idol. They're agile and confident and highly trainable, which is one of the reasons that the breed is an enduringly popular pet and companion. The lovable breed didn't have the most auspicious beginnings in life. The dogs were originally bred in Great Britain to be fighting dogs, and dog fighting is a blood sport that is now mercifully illegal. The dogs were bred to be as aggressive and powerful as possible, all in order to maim and likely kill their opponents. So during the 18th and 19th century, these and other bull-type terrier breeds were set upon one another to fight to the death or they were put up against larger animals like bulls and bears and trained to attack. Just why this was considered entertainment is an absolute mystery, but this is their legacy. These days though, Staffies are a loving and playful breed far removed from their exploited and violent history. And I should know, because I have one, and all she wants to do is sit on my lap and lick my face all over. Number 12. Golden Retriever Amongst the top and most popular list of dog breeds in the USA, the Golden Retriever is tolerant, friendly, and intelligent, the perfect combination as a family pet. These guys love to work as well. They're often employed in roles for hunting. They do solid tracking duty and are also pretty good sniffer dogs for law enforcement. Their steady, smart temperament makes this breed ideal to be a faithful and effective service or therapy dog, and they have extremely sensitive and patient natures. So they can adapt their training to support the visually impaired or those who have hearing loss. Golden Retrievers are athletic and easy to train. They're great with children and fit in well in a busy family life. Boisterous and energetic, they are protective of their homes and families and will bark if there are strangers around. The dogs just love to be with their pack and if you own one of these friendly pooches, well, that's you. So your pet's going to want to hang out with you a lot, but they're all so lovable that it probably won't be a problem. Just look at these lovely dogs. They are positively terrific. Number 11, the Akita. Now here's a big dog with opinions, and these guys aren't exactly shy about sharing them. The Akita has a long history as a guard dog of the nobility in feudal Japan, or as hunting dogs that were prized for their size and strength, giving them the ability to hunt and bring down large prey like black bears, deer, and wild boar. However, these days, they're more likely to be found as a family pet and a loyal guard dog of regular folk, more than emperors and lords and whatever. Aside from their charming good looks and endless loyalty, the dogs are also super chatty, but not in the usual barking style that you may expect from a dog. Akitas actually love to make lots of funny grunting sounds and mumbles. Their owners can kind of communicate with them, as it seems, as though these dogs are really getting involved in all kinds of conversations. And that's a unique characteristic for sure. Of course, a roommate who never stops chatting could get a bit annoying after a while. So if you have an Akita who won't stop gossiping, well, simply give them a job carrying something. Luckily, these dogs just love to be helpful, so lugging stuff around for their owners will please them to no end, and you might just get five minutes of peace as well. Number 10, Beagle. Now even though Snoopy can be a little aloof at times, there's no doubt that little Beagle is always ready to stand by Charlie Brown's side when it really comes down to the wire. And that's definitely the case with Beagles in general. These lovable dogs have such characterful faces that they can probably make you roll over or sit or whatever with the mere waggle of their brow or sad glimmer of their expressive eyes. Aside from that, the Beagle is very much a pack dog. These animals have been traditionally bred for fox hunting, ew, where they're kept in huge packs and are sent hurtling across fields ahead of the horse riding huntsman. But a dog will do what their pack leader says, so it's not the dog dog's fault, is it? A beagle will thrive in a pack of dogs or as part of a family pack, and they also enjoy playing, have boundless energy, 
and will exercise their owners very efficiently indeed. Number 9. The Cattle Dog the sturdy dog is a bit of a cowboy, just without the big hat. The breed was originally developed by cattle ranchers in Australia to handle herds of enormous ranches, so they require a huge amount of physical activity. It's part of their DNA. They would run miles to keep an eye on their herds of cattle, and are still used for that purpose in many places today. Super active and highly alert, the Australian cattle dog excels at all kinds of canine sports. They can do the lot, from competitive flyable flying disc rally and agility to obedience. This dog has a whole sack full of skills at its disposal. Their unusual appearance is part of the breed's appeal. They're born with a white coat that will either turn red or blue-gray with a distinctive mottling pattern. The Australian cattle dog will generally appear muscular and strong, yet agile. And their seemingly boundless energy makes them perfect running buddies. They just love to keep active. Unless they're a working dog, it can actually prove difficult to provide enough exercise for these high-spirited hounds. They're never happier than when they're working hard and need the mental stimulation of the job in hand to avoid becoming bored and mischievous. And a dog with this much energy can cause so heavy carnage if left without enough stimulation, the breed will literally work like a dog and then do it all over again. Number 8. Brittany these hard-working gun dogs are like Tall Spaniel. They have a similar kind of personality as well. Strong, energetic, and dedicated, the Brittany loves nothing more than a duck hunt or retrieving pheasants at a shoot. These animals are just eager to please, and they're full of energy. Once you bring a Brittany into your family, they'll be dedicated and hard-working in whatever they're tasked with. They thrive with active outdoor families and will give you a whole lot of exercise. These are really energetic dogs and need loads of activity. But if you take the time to train them well, they're smart and can pick up all kinds of tasks with ease. Although you just have to look out for these pooches, because they were bred to catch birds. It's built in, so it can be pretty difficult to convince them not to chase them. A trip to the local duck pond with a Brittany could rapidly descend into mayhem with a hint of massacre. Number 7. Boxer with one of the longest puppyhoods in the dog world, the Boxer is a pooch that refuses to grow up. These muscular, square-jawed dogs don't reach adulthood until they're three years old, and they're happy to keep on playing and having fun way beyond that point. But beware! If you don't train a boxer right from the start, these strong dogs will quickly become quite the handful. Although the boxer was mainly bred to be a guard dog, These days, they can mostly be found as family pets with a strong protection instinct which makes them ideal companions. The boxer will most definitely stand by your side no matter what. Boxers are not the best of housemates though. These fun-loving dogs have a few unsavory habits like drooling a whole lot, and they snore as well really loud. It's not their fault, of course. They have such a short snout that they can't breathe without making a bit of a fuss about it. So cut them some slack, cause that's just how they roll. Number six, the Dachshund. These brave little pooches are super faithful and can be extra feisty, even bravely taking on much bigger animals if they feel threatened or if any member of their pack is in danger. And yes, that includes you. The Dachshund is also known as the Sausage Dog on account of their very long bodies and low-slung tummies. They're great characters and many owners become lifelong devotees of the breed. The cheeky little Dachshund also has a bit of a reputation as a naughty dog. It's true that they can be a little bit wayward and trickier to train than some breeds, but their loyalty is never in question, even if they won't stop digging holes in your lawn. And they do like to dig. Dachshunds were originally bred as hunters, so they kind of have digging and rooting around built into their characters. And apparently in a survey of different dog breeds, they were ranked extremely high for being the most destructive. All that said, however, these funny little dogs will be forever loyal and loving. 
They'll entertain you and be great company as well, but they might chew your slippers, bark rudely at your visitors, and trash your garden. But you can forgive them, because they're just too cute. Number 5. St. Bernard The Beethoven Dog Anyone who's ever seen the Beethoven movies can't help but fall for these super cute, extremely slobbery big dogs with massive personalities to match. These beautiful gentle animals get their name from Switzerland's Hospice St. Bernard, where they were originally kept to guard the grounds. <laughs> It was in these mountainous regions that the clever, faithful St. Bernard was also used as a guardian, sent out to find and rescue lost and injured travelers in the dangerous terrain. The lovable St. Bernard is a life-saving legend. Records from the hospice show that these incredible dogs saved over 2,000 people from the treacherous mountain pass. These days, these big, gentle dogs are popular family pets, for those with a lot of space, that is. These guys like to have room to stretch out. This is a 180 pound pet at the least after all. They also prefer cooler climates because they're mountain dogs that were bred to withstand the cold and they don't really enjoy the heat and it's not all that good for them. They also slobber a lot. So if you're concerned about mess, this big hairy drool machine is likely not the best choice. However, they will love you and protect you and your family. And just look at that face. Number 4. Yorkshire Terrier Although this teeny weeny little dog is quite little, they are very far from being meek or feeble. The Yorkshire Terrier has the personality of a dog 20 times its size, and there's no chance that you're going to forget they're around. They're no shrinking violence after all. Extremely energetic and feisty, Yorkshire Terriers can rule the roost if you don't train them super well, and even then, these little guys are still going to have opinions about things. But despite their tendency to be stubborn, Yorkies are loyal and affectionate, and have a dedicated following around the world. Amongst the very littlest of dog breeds, Yorkshire Terriers are only about 6 or 7 inches tall, weighing between 2 and 7 pounds. They have alert little faces with V-shaped ears, and their coats long and straight in black and tan. They're often considered a good pet for people who live in smaller homes, but it doesn't really mean that they are low maintenance, because they love attention and will demand it if it's not forthcoming. Beware of their bark as well. These titchy little dogs can be extremely vocal, and this can cause issues if they're not sufficiently trained. Yorkies are no underdogs. Number 3. Doberman Pinscher the super alert perky-eared Doberman was developed in the 19th century in Germany to be an aggressive protection dog. And Mr. Pilar's first breed is the Doberman Pinscher. These pups have a reputation of being a fearsome guard dog, but when they're properly trained, Dobermans are loyal and calm companions. Muscular and powerful, the Doberman is fast and agile. They've long been successful show dogs and are obedient, fearless guardians. Dobermans have served as working dogs in the U.S. Army. The Marine Corps Dobermans of World War II actually became famous for their work alongside troops in the Pacific. And they're also known as devil dogs. Sadly, 25 of these noble animals would lose their lives in the battle for Guam. Loyal service is not uncommon amongst this breed, whether as a police dog, search and rescue workers, or protecting private homes. The Doberman Pinscher is a dependable dog with an elegant appearance and an imposing presence. You would definitely think twice before bothering one of these chaps. Even their impressive deep bark may be sufficient to put off many would-be troublemakers. Number 2. Great Dane The gentle giant of the canine world, the Great Dane is a humongous creature with a friendly nature. They're elegant and sleek dogs with muscular and athletic bodies, and they're built to run. Their massive size, although part of their appeal, also makes owning these special dogs pretty tricky. 
You're going to need a lot of space, both indoors and out, because they need loads of room to exercise, and when they're inside, their waggy tail is an accident waiting to happen. Some owners even have a dedicated Dane room for their huge hounds to hang out in. The noble Great Dane was bred to run with horses while hunting huge wild boar, so they needed to be very large and strong, as well as aggressive, all to tackle the boar to the ground. Nowadays, these guys are less about the aggression, but they are still colossal. People who choose the dogs as pets can expect them to reach extraordinary heights. Weirdly, there is actually no known connection between Denmark and this German breed of dog, so where the name is from is a bit of a mystery. In Germany, they're known simply as the German dog. The name Great Dane is the English translation of the French name for the breed, Grand Denoy, which means Big Danish. And no, much to the disappointment of me and my pet guinea pig Twinkle, it has nothing to do with the pastry. Number 1. Sholo is Quintly Known more simply as the Sholo, or the Mexican hairless, this breed of dog comes in three sizes, all of them are equally loyal. This breed isn't necessarily the most attractive, not to everyone anyway, but then again it takes all sorts, doesn't it? That wrinkly brow, those squinty-eyed look, and that mohawk, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Oh, and they're kind of hairless as well, which makes it just the tiniest bit odd. Perhaps not as universally appealing as a fluffy golden retriever or as charming as a clever collie, there's still plenty of people out there who are dedicated fans of the Sholo. They may have unusual looks, but their personalities are distinctly attractive. These fine dogs are relaxed and calm, but with a tendency to chase almost all other animals, so you may become unpopular with your cat-loving neighbor. And their wilder side is still fairly close to the surface. So, as well as their strong prey drive, they can also be the tiniest bit bitey if they perceive a threat. So be warned, the Sholo is not a pet for everyone. However, this ancient breed is also believed to have healing powers and ward off evil spirits, as well as regular intruders. Such a diverse skill set, even if they are a bit funny looking. With so many loyal pooches out there, how can you possibly choose which ones are the most faithful of friends? Which canine companions are your favorite? And what makes them super loyal pals? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.